inheritance. God divided to the nations. He divided the nations. How you doing, sir? So we teaching that, like my brother was probably telling you, we teaching that these people on the signs, the black, the Hispanics, and natives, we are the children of God. And we showing that God divided nations. He made us special. Sis, where you going? You going to the store? You going you to listen when you come back? All right. So what tribe do you come from? Or what, what, what's, your, uh, what's your nationality? I'm going to ask you. Black. black and Indian. What was your father? Black. black. Okay, so what does black say next to it? Judah. Have you heard of, have you heard of the word Judah before? No. Where, where did you hear that? Uh, Judah is in Judah Assembly. Judah Assembly. I'm talking, well, have you read it in the Bible? The word Judah. Do you know what Judah means? No, in like. Okay, we're going to show you. But first, we're going to show you, give me uh, how Christ came from the tribe of Judah. We're going to show you that Christ, what, I got another question for you. I got another question. You, you say you don't know about Judah. Right. What about this right here? Who you, who you say this is? You smiling on that one. Look like white Jesus. Oh, white Jesus. So you know Jesus was black. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So watch this. Since you know God was black, watch this. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that we said it's evident. It is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Who is our Lord? Who's your Lord? It's, it's, it's Christ. Like you said, that black man. It said he sprang out of what? Out of Judah. He came from the same, he got the same blood that you got in, your, in you right now. That's what it's saying. And we're going to show you how you the tribe of Judah. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Have, okay, have you read the uh, Bible front to back, or are you familiar with the Bible? I'm familiar, but front to back is, is that's, a, that's a quest. Okay, okay, okay. So, so what you know about the Exodus? Do you know about Moses when he brought the... the yeah. Okay, so Moses brought a Pacific people out of Egypt. He didn't bring everybody. He, he went to Egypt to save a Pacific people, and that was the children of Israel. We're going to show you that. Read. Uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Uh, uh, I know you got a minute. Just, just, just stick with me real quick. We're trying to show you your history. Because the church ain't going to teach you your history. They hid that thing. Just like you said, that's white Jesus. If they give you this right here, that means your whole history, they covered it up. They covered it up. Because we just read, you just knew that Christ was black and he came from your same bloodline. Right. You read, you, you learned it like that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses spoke to who? Who is Moses speaking to right here in the book of Deuteronomy? Read it again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is talking to who right now? All Israel. Remember that. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Now we go into the 28th chapter. We're in the same book of Deuteronomy. Moses took us out of Egypt. He split the Red Sea, smashed the Egyptians, which is another nation. Show you that God ain't for everybody. You see what I'm saying? That's, that, that's simple stuff right there. God will kill a whole nation to bring your people out. That's, that's to show right. you special. That's right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Now Moses got us sat down in the wilderness. We came from seeing all that. Moses sat us down. He said, hey, this is going to come in the future. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you won't listen. If y'all children of Israel, drop a Judah on down. If y'all won't listen. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God said to Moses, tell them to keep my commandments. If they don't keep my commandments, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said all these curses going to come upon you. So you shook your head already. You know curses are a bad thing. We in one now. We in one now. Why, why do you say that? Because the virus, I mean the virus is spreading and it's unseen. You're right. That's a curse. What's another curse? That ain't the only curse. What's another curse? Look around. Oh, you mean the, the whole thing? Being yeah, over, being where you over. live at? Where you live at? This is a curse. This is a curse. Everybody ain't living like this. We used to live like this because we see it every day. We was born into this. But if you go around the world, the other nations ain't living like this, sister. I bet you don't give me many of your time. They ain't putting on a tire right now. Free. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, uh, Reed, check out the flyer, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. That's what I was saying. Cursed shall we be in the city. So, Oklahoma City, we curse. Where are you from? I'm from Ardmore, but I live in the city. Okay, in Ardmore. In the ghettos of Ardmore. Where they, oh, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Everywhere. Everywhere you go in the city. You're inside. Expanding over there. It's looking just like how we looking. 
Read. Soon we the same people, because we suffer the same curses. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall we be in the field. G give, me, give me some history on that. You know, uh, we went over us being cursed in the city. How are we cursed in the field? And slavery, exactly. You see that? They had us out there picking that cotton. Tobacco in the heat and not paying us nothing. And you know that's in the Bible? You know what I said? I think it's Jeremiah uh, about us, the wages. About us not paying our paying neighbor wages. About Esau not paying the neighbor wages. Was it in Jeremiah? Somebody uh, look for that. But look, the same, yo, up in the field not paying us nothing. Sister got on dresses. We out there hot and they not paying us nothing. They beating our back ends if we don't bring enough cotton. It don't matter if they're what, six years old. If, if they're old enough to walk and they can pick up some stuff, they're going to put them in the cotton field. Y'all know that, you know what I said? But we gonna, we gonna get some more folks. So, it said, cursed shall we be in the city, and cursed shall we be in the field. Now, like I said, those people right there are cursed in the city and the field. You look at anywhere, out of them tribes right there, the uh, Hispanics, they curse in the city. The Puerto Ricans, they curse in their cities. You see what I'm saying? Jeremiah Benjamin. Jeremiah what? 2213. 22, We're gonna show you that was Bible prophecy. When we got in the fields, they weren't gonna pay us no money for that. Still to this day, they ain't paying us money. Have, have we got reparations as a people? No, sir. No, sir. We ain't got no reparations. That's biblical proof. Read. Jeremiah chapter 22 and verse 13. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. So it said, woe mean destruction unto him that build a house and it's unrighteous. Read. And his chambers by wrong. In his chambers, his house is by wrong. That uses his neighbor's service without wages. He used his neighbor's service without wages. You see what I'm saying? God got our history in this Bible. Go back to Deuteronomy. God got our history in this Bible. And that's what we're trying to show our people. We're trying to show our people love out here. Because a lot of times we, they think that love is talking to them kindly, giving them hugs and stuff like that, giving them money. That's not love. Love is telling you to do right because God will kill you if you don't. You get what I'm saying? That's love right there. Read. Uh, read the next 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, Think about it. It said our sons and our daughters be given to another people. When did that happen? That happens whenever we have children and we have to give them away. How? I like that. We can't be supported. We don't have finances or we just either are out on drugs. DHS. You see what I'm saying? And they put us in those conditions and they take our kids from us when they say, oh, y'all not uh, uh, reasonable uh, parents and things like that. But they put us in those conditions. But how was another, when, was, when was another time our sons and daughters got took? Right here, separate the whole family. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So what what is the Bible telling you right now? What what is the Bible showing you right now? Give me 46. The curses that we have lived through, I mean, they're still affecting us. It's still affecting us. So who does that fit? Does, does it fit everybody? So it's showing you that God got a Pacific people that he deal with. Right. Because why he ain't cursing the white folks like that? You get what I'm saying? Why he ain't cursing the East Indians like that? The mo the uh the uh the Chinese, why ain't cursing them like that? You can't curse the devil. <laughs> damn! You can't curse what? You can't curse the devil. You damn right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.